Hello, good afternoon, everyone. This is Simon Wang, the and this uh, technical marketing manager. Uh, the topic today will be the, the future of age is about resign and AI. Um, we know AI has uh, made things incredibly smart and intelligent, uh, but AI needs the large amount, really large amount of computing power. On the other hand, we know the edge device uh, is strictly uh, limited by the local resource. They may not provide a um, very large computing power or they may need a very low power consumption. So how could we provide a computing power, such large computing power um, on the edge device? This is what we would like to talk about. So in this talk, we will introduce uh, how any see these problems and how any approaches for the our processor and deep learning accelerator uh, hardware and our software solution for AI. Okay. So <clears throat> just uh, some example for the AI use case. We know AI use case is very diversified. For the region, we know there's a uh, image publication, such as the, uh, putting the notebook to recognize there's a user and if we, whether if we move the computer into the stream mode or the object detection or image segmentation, uh, usually used to aid us. And uh, such as the voice and speech, we use the voice command uh, to, to wake our system or control our your earbud. Uh, we use a uh, voice-based uh, intelligent human machine interface like it's smart speaker in your house. And uh, there's three, there's third and, uh, category would be any signal with pattern. Actually, um, and machine learning AI is very good at recognizing any pattern, no matter from the image or the voice or any sensor, the voice sensor, rater or gyro, or to detect any vibration or noises. And then they will transform the from the raw data into meaningful data for machine or for people to make a decision or making alarm, like the predictive maintenance in our um, industrial um, um, application. So we know there are many different kind of um, AI application and requiring uh, different computing power, such as from million operation per second or even to uh, trillion operations per second in automotive or data center. So what we approach is we have the three kind of the risk five processor and the one uh, rater series. The first one is the green one, the N series, which is the risk five baseline. We have 32 bit and 64 bit processors. And for more computing power, we have the D and A series, which is risk five baseline uh, extension plus the DSPC extension. For more powerful, we have the better processor, the V series. And uh, beside those three risk five architecture, we have the accelerator, we trade off the um, um, flexibility and um, uh, general purpose as a processor with the uh, computing power and computing efficiency as a, uh, as a dedicated accelerator for the application. We call the NDLA and this deep learning accelerator, the I series intelligence series. So let's have a briefing for the those series. The N series we talk about uh, is, is our slide baseline plus the ND star V5 extension, including the codense and performance. Uh, the codense is for co-size reduction. If we enable this option, then we can get a further 12% co-size reduction. For the performance D, uh, extension, uh, we can get a 13% uh, uh, performance boost. Um, and uh, the next one is the DA through DSP CD. It is the baseline uh, plus any star V5 plus the risk by packaging this tension. Uh, it's the draft stage now. Uh, the, the risk by uh, the RVP uh, actually uh, <coughs> contributed the, the first version by Andis, and we did the RVP task group right now by the chair uh, for this task group. Um, the uh, the most benefit for the DSP uh, from the DSP thing is the Mac. We know um, the NN application is basically formed by the um, uh, Mac operation, like for the convolution or general matrix multiplication. So if we get a CD with with uh, 64 bit and the data type is int eight, then we can do eight uh, 
into a Mac per cycle. So in theory, um, it is a time speed up over the baseline baseline. So you can see this uh, performance in the low. Uh, we can have uh, from the 8.9 time speed up to 14.8 uh, speed up over the Sivate model or the keyword sparking model. So the more powerful is the V series, the better extension, is, which is the respect baseline plus and the W5 plus the better extension. It's more powerful. Uh, <clears throat> no matter in the single width is uh, we can configure from the 128 to 1024. And uh, there's uh, dedicated uh, better registers and the VLAN is configurable as well. So if we have the VLAN uh, 512 bit and the single is 512 uh, bit, we have the speed up over the uh, for the convolution Q7, uh, at this at this point time, it will have around uh, 60 uh, times speed up. For the general matrix multiplication for the floating point 32, it is around 50 times speed up. Okay. In addition to uh, this refined process, we have the dedicated and DLA, the NSD lens rater, with a dedicated engine for the GNN, the MAC accumulator, for the animal wise and pulling engine. Yes, dedicated DMA and local share effort. In the same, uh, from the MAC points of view, in the same um, 64 MAC, we have the 2063 speed up uh, of the VGG19 uh, models. <clears throat> Compared to the SEN uh, 64 Mac uh, in which uh, RBV better extension is um, 16, around 16 speed up over the, uh, for the convolution Q7 data type. So it is trade-off, trade-off with the uh, flexibility and general purpose with the higher computing, uh, computing power and efficiency. Okay. Uh, let's reduce, uh, introduce the, the risk -5 processor and it's provided for the uh, DSP CD processor. The first one is T25F, uh, which is five stage enabled single issue pipeline. The I size RB32 GCPB plus NSP5 extension. The more powerful one is the B45, uh, which is uh, five stage, eight stage, uh, with eight stage in order the issue. Plus, there's the memory boost feature to increase the memory access a bit, uh, capability, such as instruction and data cache prefetch the non-blocking low store, the data cache write run, and there's optional separate buses for the uh, instruction and data. So there's uh, any score common technology like uh, hardware mixed line access, the code dense, the code size reduction extension, and the power break and green light, which is for power saving or quick to um, <coughs> hibernate mode. And we have any custom extension with a software framework and the infrastructure to uh, help our user to define or design their uh, own instruction for their own applications. Let us compare with the D25F and D45. And you can see that we have more 40% uh, area, but we have more the, uh, uh, from the 44% to 59% performance scan. Okay. Let's see a single use case, the CIFAR 10 image application. Uh, the application, the scenario is you uh, enter an, a single image, then the machine will tell you this is a, a cat or a dog. It's a very simple the model with five layers. The previous three layers are uh, formed by the convolution, activation, or pooling. The fourth will be the fully, fully connect and soft mask. And we implement this uh, model with Andy's own library. API. So you can see the speed up. If we use N4 as the base, the N7 is 1.2 speed up. And for the D25F, it will be around three times speed up. And for the D45, it will be 3.7 speed up. The main uh, difference is uh, the int A max in B we supported and um, the, the A stage pipeline. Uh, for the comparison between D45 and D25F, it will be will be the A stage pipeline you issue to, uh, to uh, bring the performance gain. So let's talk about the RISC-V vendor processor. We have two uh, CPU. The first one is NS27B. The second is AS45MPB. <coughs> NS27B uh, is uh, uh, the I sides are the 64 bit GCPV and plus NSW5 extension. It is five stage in order 
single user scale unit with the better process unit. The VLAN I think is configurable from the 128 to 512. Okay, the more powerful one is 845 MPV, is a stage in order to use scale unit, and the weather process unit is also to issue. And the particularly, the VDM thing is from configurable from 128 to 10 to 24. And this end is common not technology like the members we talk and the AC we talk. And there's more for the A streaming port and ASRV. We can institute the district with a single uh, image. Like if we have a processing element, the PE, we have a extensible band processor and there's a highway engine, uh, the HW in the right. Um, the first time we can extend is through the ACE, is uh, decoupled from the main pipeline. So it's very general, you can um, design your own compute engine or your memory interface, your own register file or the port to communicate with the hardware engine. Uh, regarding the ACE, it is uh, kind of coupled with the better unit pipeline, but it had, it's just a resource with the better units such as the better rest file. So you can uh, uh, compute with the cavalry with better extension. Okay. For the A streaming port, uh, <coughs> uh, it allows you to uh, 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 share the, um, for, for the better efficiency for the data movement from the better processor unit and the hardware engine. <coughs> So here's a case for the mobile navy one, uh, which is mostly used for the person detection. We can look at the red block. It is the normal latency on a single core at one gigahertz uh, millisecond per frame. You can see um, <clears throat> for the NS27V, the better extension and the data is data type is the half precision for in point. We break down for the configuration from the 128 VLAN, 128 SYNC to uh, 512 VLAN and 512 SYNC. You can see for the mass model configuration, we have the, uh, around 42 milliseconds to do one inference, uh, one frame. Yeah, you may challenge the data height difference. So we can simply multiply by two to um, pre, uh, estimate the performance for floating points 32 big, uh, 32. So it will around a 84 minutes per frame. So it still quite, uh, performs quite well for this application. Okay, then there will be the NDS deep learning illustrator. It's a standalone illustrator for edge inference. It can cooperate with any score, uh, including the 25, 27, 45, and 60 series. We target the video uh, image application and audio voice application. And the target performance is configurable Mac from the 32 to uh, 2048 Mac. So um, we target, uh, we can run the one gigahertz at 28 nanometers. So it means it provides the uh, uh, 64 giga operation per second to 4 trillion operation per second. It also integrated uh, the low internal DMA local memory to uh, increase the uh, highway relation. So here's the real number uh, for the NDLA. So this convolution kernel from C510 layer two, if we move the baseline performance as the base for as one, as then the RV64P will have uh, around 19 uh, times speed up. The NDI will have 360 speed up, but the gate count is quite similar. The NDI is quite similar to the RV64P. It's the compare comparison with the RVP and the NDLA. And um, there's a more example for the uh, NDLA with the better processor, the NDLA i350 and NS27B. Uh, the performance is from the uh, ResNet 50. If we move the NS27 the speed up, uh, the, the performance is one and uh, the NDLA provides uh, 15 times performance, but the area is about a quarter. So if we divide these two, we get uh, performance efficiency will be 57 times speed up, um, seven, seven times, uh, 57 
speed uh, times. Yeah. Um, but like I said, this is trade off between the general purpose and uh, for the dedicated and computation. So we can make a balance in your system. We have then this extensive with risk five AI subsystem. <clears throat> like the why we can extend the uh, the first one is the computing power that we talk about. We can extend it from the ACE or the ACE RBV or the ACE and DLA. The second one we can extend the data exchange for the better exchange efficiency through the AC uh, AC stream port or the ACP, or we can send the control signal with the AC stream port. Okay, then we talk about the software, how we to efficiently develop our software application and utilize the most hardware uh, resources, our engine, our computing power. We have the NSO ID, the NSDK. First, how we map our AI application and deploy to our hardware. Uh, for the signal and data pre post processing, there's open source tool like open CV or open plus. For the end part, when we train uh, a, an AI model from the AI framework or the uh, <coughs> or AI model uh, format like TensorFlow or the PyTorch and Onis, then uh, the great background is the, uh, what Anis be able to provide. The first part is in this AI fly optimizer. It is uh, do something like uh, optimization or pruning or some graph level optimization. Then we have an inference engine like TensorFlow Live, TensorFlow Live microcontroller, and there's uh, also a TV enablement package. And then we have any sort of library and better library and this library. This three will be a highly optimized library for uh, our CPU core, for our better extension, or for our DSP single extension. And the last part will be the NSO ID, which is a single uh, interface and environment. You can view your application, you can debug, deploy, and profile your application there. And uh, we also have uh, ready Atos and Mini supporting with the device driver. There's also a uh, simple codes to show you uh, how to uh, manipulate our, uh, or operate our hardware. There's also a cycle algorithm later, near cycle algorithm later, you can do some profiling or do some early reporting uh, of it. Uh, then regarding the NSDK, uh, it basically a collection of our uh, software tools, library and runtime and programs for developers. Basically, uh, you just enter, uh, just uh, <clears throat> enter a model from PyTorch or TensorFlow line or only then you will get a result and deploy to our H5 CPU and uh, NDR accelerator. Okay, let's look inside what component there. In <clears throat> the first part is the front end converter, which we convert to a single format. Then the network optimizer, they will do some pruning or operator fusion. Uh, for the deployment optimizer, they will do some compensation, calibration, or compensation. And the uh, band converter will do some memory and operator location optimization. Then the last part will generate SQL template, which uh, use the MSN library API or NDR driver API. It means that you don't even need to write a single line of code. Uh, <clears throat> tool will generate for you. Only things you need to do is combine the template, the SQL template for your application to, to build uh, your AI, uh, <clears throat> AI applications. The second pass will be TensorFlow Line and TensorFlow microcontroller. I will introduce here. The host part is the same, you train the model and you optimize the model on your PC or server. Then for the device at the runtime, the TensorFlow microcontroller will dispatch uh, to NDI via the NDI driver to the NDIS core with RVP, RVB extension via the NDIS one library. And uh, if there's no operator supported by both, uh, there's always a reference kernel which implement by the POC code. So um, if you compile uh, this reference kernel, you basically leverage the RISMI baseline, uh, the base, uh, RISMI scalar uh, instruction and run a RISMI baseline uh, architecture. That's the readiness for <coughs> Uh, TensorFly models, basically we have run uh, more than 93% in models uh, models in the uh, image test and video audio domains. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it's quite ready now. Um, let me introduce the NDSoft uh, uh, library. 
we have two versions optimized for the RVP and the RVV extension as well. There are um, more than 170 functions in eight categories, like activations, uh, basic element-wise uh, operation, concat, convolution, full tunnel, and pooling, so much, and other utility uh, utils, such as resizing. Okay, so here's the performance tip. Uh, table for reference. Basically, it is compared with the resume baseline and uh, DSP sync D, the 32 bit and 64 bit. We have 25 series, we have 45 series. And there's also the number for the resume beta extension, the NS27B, for different configurations. Okay. So, uh, Beside the Anderson library, we have this library which is optimized for the DSP sync processor. We have over uh, 350, uh, 320 function in 10 categories. And we have better library which optimized for the better extension. We have more than 400 function in five categories. And the total number of these uh, three libraries in the uh, beginning of last year, we have uh, 560 uh, functions. And in the beginning of this year, we have add um, more than 130 functions. And we plan to add more 180 functions by the end of this year. Okay, yes, some summary for the processor. Uh, we have uh, provided RISC 5 DSP SYNC D and better processor to provide highly efficient computing power for the diverse file applications. And, uh, and it's also the leading pioneer to deliver the RISC 5 extensible architecture with our ACE, ACE RBV, and ACE streaming port. And we have also a dedicated accelerator and DLA, which plays a very key role to bring the power efficient computing uh, to the end this extensible RISC 5 AI subsystem. For the SWAY part, we have NS ID and NS NSDK, brings the ultimate long time performance and help users to develop their efficient, uh, efficiently de de develop their applications. So, okay, so basically is all of our talk and uh, thanks for listening, thanks for your time. So hope you have a good day, uh, see you, bye-bye.